transite pressure pipe, the indestructible materials from which transite is made. Asbestos, clean, pure water at a twist of the wrist. The housewife who couldn't get through the day without water hardly gives a thought to where it comes from or the extent to which her family's well-being depends on it. Well, that aged poorly, didn't it? Asbestos is almost universally known today to be extremely toxic. And in fact, many countries have completely banned its use. Many. Not all, of course. Why would they do that? But let's go back to the start for a second. Asbestos has actually been around for a lot longer than most of us probably even realize. Its use dates back to at least 4,500 years ago. Did you know that it's actually a naturally occurring material? It's what's known as a mineral fiber, and they mine it from rocks. Fiber from rocks. I guess that kind of explains its fire retardant properties. We first see evidence of asbestos being used to strengthen and improve materials about 4,500 years ago, when people in East Finland used it to strengthen ceramic pots and utensils. And Greek sources began to mention asbestos around 400 BC, discussing its useful properties such as its chemical and fire resistance. But even as early as then, people were at least somewhat aware of the harmful effects of asbestos because they mentioned the negative effects it had on those exposed. But obviously that didn't do enough to stop them from using it, because if we fast forward to 1879, we'll encounter our first commercial use of asbestos as an insulation. Which, yeah, I mean it does do a pretty good job, it's fireproof, it certainly does insulate in heat. Uh, it'd be perfect, really, if it wasn't trying to kill us. But it wasn't until the beginning of the 1900s that more people began to realize and react to the negative effects of asbestos. And in 1906, the first report of lung disease as a result of asbestos was reported to the UK government. And by the 1930s, researchers had fully established a connection between asbestos and lung cancer. But it turns out the key players in the asbestos industry were keen to hide this. Shocking, I know. Rich people hiding the fact that this supposed wonder material is killing us just so they could line their pockets? No way. Well, warnings officially went out in 1942, but were only widely accepted by 1949. And Iceland actually became the first country to ban asbestos in 1983. Meanwhile, the US only rolled out partial bans by 1989. In fact, it even took the European Union until 2005 for all of its members to completely ban all forms of asbestos. And as of 2019, 66 countries have followed suit. But it wasn't until very, very recently, March 18th, 2024, that the US Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA, finally banned the use of cresatile asbestos the final form of asbestos still being used in the US, which apparently chemical manufacturers were still using to make high volume chemicals such as sodium hydroxide and chlorine, as well as for use in automotive and industrial products, stuff like aftermarket brakes and sheet gaskets. You know, when you hear stuff like industry is still using highly toxic, known to cause cancer materials just to save a few bucks, and the absolute sloth-like response from the government to even bother regulating them, I guess I can understand why people are a bit mistrustful of the government at times. Not exactly a good look. Well, thanks for watching. That's all I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.